Oh no, they're all gonna die! They're all gonna die! Hey guys, it's Jade, and today I'm watching Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid Season 2, Episode 4. And before I get into it, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video. Now, last episode absolutely melted my heart. I'm so glad that Ilulu was able to finally make a human friend. And I felt bad at the beginning because she felt like she didn't deserve it. But she absolutely does because you can tell that playing with humans and making friends like that means a lot to her. And obviously we saw her past, so she really does love playing with humans. Also seeing Kobayashi in a maid outfit, whoever said it did not fit her was lying or they're blind because she's absolutely adorable wearing the maid outfit. It fit her so nicely. So I don't know what anyone else was saying, but uh, whoever told her it didn't fit her, you're lying. Or you're in denial, that could be another thing. But I think the funniest part about the episode was Toru trying to find a hobby and her being absolutely perfect at almost everything. I am not surprised that she just chose Kobayashi to be her hobby because she literally lives and breathes Kobayashi. And it was just adorable that she had a song for it and she had so many figures and poor Ilulu and Kana having to deal with all of that. <laughs> They just look so drained. I'm really looking forward to this episode, so let's get into it. <laughs> the sound effects. Oh my gosh. Aww. What? <laughs> what? Speed eating? <laughs> oh my gosh! Mm -hmm. I like how relaxed Ilulu became in this household. <laughs> oh my god! Oh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's just work. That's true. I, I mean, being a pillar in this, you do take on a lot of work and it could be overbearing. Yeah. Bang! I, what are you thinking? <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> Aww. I miss Japan. It was really nice there. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. One way to yeah, one way to not have her do this again. <laughs> So cute. <laughs> if she was on patrol, then I wouldn't even dare try to do anything like that. It's an interesting choice to wear for, you know, patrol. Oh no, I- Poor dudes! Don't even try. Oh my god! <laughs> run dudes, run! If you're- if you treasure your- yes, if you treasure your life, you run! 
Yeah, because she's a dragon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Having those two on patrol. <laughs> oh, it, they're, oh my gosh. Yeah, I was like, if you're gonna say that as a bad thing, she's gonna take it as a compliment. <laughs> it, looked, it looked like Fafnir. <laughs> oh, you have a white there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're the one dancing in the streets. <laughs> so you're influenced somehow. <laughs> I am so sorry to all of you guys. You guys are just running into such bad problems. You want to know a dragon of destruction? That's the one you're looking at, dude. Oh no, they're all gonna die. They're all gonna die. I'm sorry to say, but you can't ever defeat her. Parkour land? Everyone's doing hardcore parkour. Oh. <laughs> She knows. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Makes sense. She's so tiny, though, and that suit seems so big. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like how Psycho is just always blushing. <laughs> I don't that know. <laughs> well, that's kind of trippy. Just goes in circle, circle, circle. <laughs> She's just <laughs> haunted house just became her favorite thing. <laughs> oh no! Don't have told her to do that. She's gonna go extra. Oh, Koyo, she's having fun! <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Yo, that's kinda cool though! I feel like someone would get motion sickness and just kinda throw up in there, that'd be disgusting. She is everywhere! Oh my god! <laughs> They're all so cute! 
<laughs> Good job. Oh, what? What is? What is happening? <laughs> the top tier wingman, wing woman. Wow. Oh. Oh, she had a bloody nose and everything. I want to see too. It's amazing. How did she get these photos? <laughs> yeah. I don't think any of those rides can compare to riding a dragon. <laughs> eh, me! I'm a pike. I love this series. It's just so funny. I can't help but laugh and my cheeks end up hurting so much because I'm smiling all the time. But this episode was really sweet in the beginning. It was absolutely hilarious in the middle and then heartwarming in the end. I love how Elma kind of takes things to like a misunderstanding of a next level kind of thing where she hears one word and then she absolutely just takes it to a whole different meaning but I understand where she's coming from where she's kind of worried about Kobayashi being a pillar even though you know it has nothing to do with human sacrifices and earth <laughs> But I see where she means, because being a pillar for something, sometimes it's get, it gets overbearing, and you can get tired, and it becomes too much. So I'm glad that she has Elma, she has Todu, she has every one of those dragons looking out for her. Also, RIP to Yusan for thinking he can defeat Todu, but then also the fact that he didn't, and he tried to go up against a bear at the end and still didn't defeat him. I think he should start thinking differently about his life. But it's good that his like followers didn't like abandon him after because they're like, he's not that strong anymore. But I mean, all those guys were asking for it in the end. They wanted to challenge her, and I'm glad that they finally see that they can never beat her. Also with the amusement park at the end, I kind of want to go to it. I haven't been to an amusement park for years, and I feel like it, it'd be such a good break to have, especially if you're going with friends. Overall, seeing these episodes, it makes me glad, first for Ilulu, because she has finally accepted this life, and she's just happy now, and she's relaxed, and she's making friends, which is always good, because I was kind of worried that she might not, because she can be a little bit aggressive, but of course she's very sweet. And I also like how even though like Elma and Todu kind of have like this little head butts going on, they kind of like work together and they look like they're friends even though they're like, no, we would kill each other for sure. But I'm glad that everything works out in the end of these episodes because if it did it, I'd be very upset. Overall, I always look forward to these episodes because it's so interesting to see what life is like with them and it's a good breath of fresh air. For sure, compared to what I'm watching in My Hero Academia, because I know things are going to get bad there. But that is all I have for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!